Oh, hey, peeps. Welcome back to our channel. It's your girl, Paprika, back with another review. Before we get started, if you're new to this channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and turn on your post notifications. Please watch the full video and be sure to give it a thumbs up and drop your thoughts in the comments below. Riri has done her thing. Kudos to her for having a dream vision and working hard to attain it. Dreams come what? True, not free. This singer, actress, and businesswoman is at the height of her game. Arriving on the scene in 2005 with my jam, Pondi Replay, landing at number two on the U.S. Billboard Hot 100 charts and number one on the Billboard Dance Club songs. No lie, that song still hits. It's one of those songs that instantly gets you on your feet and your body moving in dance. Her debut album, Music of the Sun, was number 10 on the Billboard 200 charts and sold over 2 million copies worldwide. From there, there was no stopping Rihanna. As she released her second album, A Girl Like Me, the following year, and it reached platinum success. From her third album, the single Umbrella won her a Grammy Award. She has since released eight albums, all very well received. In total, she has received 12 Grammy Awards, 10 Billboard Music Awards, and four MTV Video Music Awards. In 2012 and 2018, she made Time Magazine's 100 Most Influential People list. She was also thriving in the business world and produced four fragrances, Rebel Fleur, Rebel, Nude, and Rogue, which were all very successful. I hope that was pronouncing them all correctly. Then came her biggest venture in 2019 under Moet Hennessy Louis Vuitton, known as LVMH. She created an original brand, Fenty. Since then, Fenty, a fashion line, there is also Fenty Beauty, which is a cosmetic line, Savage X Venti, a lingerie line, and Fenty Skin, a skincare line. No wonder this powerhouse superstar is now named Forbes' youngest self-made billionaire. Rihanna, you go girl. This news is all over social media and online. But why are we so thirsty for news? Bump that. Let's just keep it 100 and call it what it truly is, gossip. Most of us lead ordinary lives, so we need excitement from somewhere, and the juicier, the more scandalous, the better. Point in case, millions were watching the Johnny Depp Amber Heard trial, and they both are still hot topics. If we're honest, we all like gossip to some degree. Someone else's going on fascinates us. To some, gossip is as natural as a casual conversation. You know what I'm talking about. You ever have that friend that just happens to know everything about everyone? You have to wonder, how's that possible? You'd have to be lurking around corners, hiding in bushes, eavesdropping on private conversations, and asking a bunch of nosy, intrusive questions, or just a straight-up blabbermouth. Now, some say a little gossip is harmless, but the lure to always being in the know can be enticing and can cause some to be quite intrusive. Oh, I'll just call it what it is, just plain old nosy. Feeling that rush of being the go-to person for the 411 or somehow, someway always being the first to know, that can be addictive and difficult to step away from. So the big question is, why do we love it? Or why do we do it so much? Here are four reasons I found online. Number one, it helps you to make friends. Now, I'm not sure if those are the type of friends you would want to have. I mean, they're more like you better watch your back and guard your tongue type friends. Number two, to validate our lives. When we talk about someone else doing worse than we are, it validates us. Number three, social bonding. Now, what type of bonding is that? Again, very questionable in my humble opinion. Number four, to live vicariously through someone else. It makes us feel better to know someone is making it. Number five, as an icebreaker. Number six, an opportunity to laugh. Yet, be very careful at what you find funny as it will define your character. And number seven, it provides us a distraction. 
And let's face it, in this crazy, mixed up, convoluted, violent world in which we live today, everyone needs a bit of escapism now and again. All of the aforementioned reasons are wrapped in a pretty box and is merely a disguise for the ultimate reason, which is simply the desire to know about other people's lives. Or one word, nosy. At any rate, I do like good gossip, a hero saving the day, a benefactor helping those in need, etc. And this news about Rihanna falls in that category of someone's drive, ambition, and hard work paying off. Well, that's it for us today, peeps. Hope you're enjoying your day. Make it a good one. Until the next time, thanks for watching.